cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Rich, and I'm here with Amanda from Indonesia. How are you doing today, Amanda? Good morning. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. If you guys haven't heard it yet, that is our new track. It is Ill Kid and your boy Rich and DJ Cloud Ninja. And we're talking about Don't Panic because right now everybody's panicking in the cannabis sector. In the whole global sector, the whole world is panicking. And we're trying to tell people don't panic. Like we created this song for you. Listen. Put the limit in. Stop it I mean, who else, right. who else has a song like that? Honestly, it's, it's probably the best stock market song I've ever heard in my life. And maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know. What do you think? Do you agree? It's pretty good. I have, been, I have had it on repeat. I'm in, I'm in Indonesia. I'm on a little paradise island for the weekend. And... Honestly, people probably have no idea what they're talking about, and I just keep hitting it. I have it on replay. I love this song. And so it's listen, a great mantra. Enough about the song. We want to talk about Amanda in Indonesia. What are you doing right now? I know you're always helping people. Let's get a quick update on the unbelievable humanitarian effort and the work you guys are doing, you and your team out there. Thanks, Rich. Um, so as we talked about before, we were building houses. Um, and that's kind of reached a tipping point and it's kind of almost managing itself right now. So next stage is we're building a prosthetic center. There's been a lot of people that lost their arms and legs and um, disability in Indonesia is much different than disability in a Western country. So um, we're working on importing prosthetics and we have a big training program going on quite soon. And so that's our next project here. Wow. So, yeah. God bless you guys from the bottom of my heart, everyone at Rich TV Live and everyone watching all over the world. Continue to do great work. It's one thing to make money. It's another thing to make a difference. And you do both. Let's get into best stocks to own. Right now, Amanda is going to be sharing her portfolio with you, the people watching all over the world. Amanda, what in your opinion are the best stocks to own? Lay my soul on the line here. Okay. I have, <laughs> I'm holding 18, um, and I'm just going to list them out. Yes, 18. Wow. Um, number one and number two have always been my babies, Aurora and Afria. I love them. Um, number three, who I believe is going to be just as huge as Aurora and Afria is Oxley Cannabis. So Oxley, um, they're a streaming partner. They are partnered with so many huge companies and believe included. So um, FSD, all these great ones. So I think that they're going to explode and I'm going to be set up for that one. Number four, T-God, the Green Organic Dutchman. I love them. Um, I like them mostly. They have that little bit of niche. They're global as well. They're in um, Jamaica, Poland, Mexico, Denmark. Um, as we know, those are all like huge countries that are going to do really well. So um, they've taken a lot of slack lately, but I believe in them and I've been loading up. Number five, Alifia. I really like Alifia. Um, they haven't really moved too much lately, but I think they will. They have 50,000 medical patients out of 200,000 registered in Canada. So um, I think they have a really great upside. Um, number six, we don't talk about much, is Inner Spirit Holdings, ISH. They have Spirit Leaf stores, over 100 franchises in Canada in the works. So um, I really think that once those are all open, and it shouldn't be very long, they're going to blow up. And they've been hovering around 20 cents. So I've been loading up on them since July. Um, seven and eight, FSD Pharma, huge. They, I believe, are huge. I got in them at the very beginning. Um, and yeah, they just, they've made me a lot of money and I've jumped back in. So I really think that they have a great upside. Um, my next one is Prev. I like Prev. I like Prev a lot. Um, it's up and down quite a bit, but 
they've really done some medical innovations and they're really big on natural health products, which who doesn't like that, and research. So I think we're really lucky to be in Canada, where, or from Canada, where we're able to do cannabis research because this is gonna be the forefront of the next medical. That leads me into PILF, Cantab, love Cantab. Um, Cantab has made a sustained release product and a quick release product and I believe in them because I think physicians are gonna love to prescribe a product that's predictable. They know when that THC is released and they know when that clears the body. And historically physicians, um, I am a registered nurse, so I can tell you from firsthand experience that physicians are scared to prescribe cannabis products because they don't really know the onset. Um, with Cantab, they do, and they're exporting to Australia and Asia. So I think that's pretty exciting. Next, MPX. MPX is my number 10. I originally only acquired them to trade them and I didn't think it was gonna be a long-term hold, and they grew on me, and I really do believe in them. And now, with this Ianthus, I'm keeping them. I gotta keep it for that. Can't not, right? So, then we have Kush bottles. I think picks and shovels are a good idea. So, Kush, everybody needs packaging, and they're innovative, and they have so many cool things. So, Kush is my next baby. I've had them for a while and they've done me well. Um, Planet 13 and MedMen. I'm just saying them together because they're, they're apples and apples. I'm not really sure which one is going to be bigger, so I'm going to have them both. Um, yeah, now let's see what happens. But so far, it's so good. Ah, uh, SeaWeb. I love Charlotte. I think um, Charlotte's Web has been innovative. Um, they created a strain for um, childhood epilepsy, and they're working on more. And so I'm really excited to see what they have in store for us. C-Web is pretty awesome. Ceneva. I love Ceneva. I really do. I've been acquiring a lot of Ceneva only for a few months now. Um, and they have, they've had a high of $17. So being now under $5, I think they're a huge win. Um, and we're going to ride that up pretty soon. And they're in Canada and the U.S. And there's going to be that little NASDAQ TSX spinoff. So I'm excited to be part of that because who doesn't love free shares, right? Absolutely. Um, TGIF. I like TGIF quite a bit. Um, Canada, U.S., Mexico, CBD. I think they have a lot covered. And they're super cheap. I think they're under 50 cents right now or hovering around. So yeah, totally into TGIF, and I'm gonna start acquiring those. Those are, that one, T-God, kind of my two Mexican ones that I'm really happy about because we're gonna be legal there real soon. Then, right now, I'm not overly proud to share these two, but I think it will be in the future, is Crop and HVT. So, Crop in the U.S., I mean, they're growers, they have greenhouses, huge greenhouses. I really think that they're going to be huge. And Harvest One, um, they haven't really made a lot of moves yet, but I think they're going to be because they're global. They're in Canada, Switzerland, Europe. Um, so I really think we have all markets covered. So yeah, those are my 18 picks. I'd really love to hear what everyone has to say about them. Um, if you have any comments, please let us know what you think. But yeah, these are my babies, long term. Um, I, absolutely, I absolutely love all your picks. I think that they are fabulous. In fact, I think that if you put all of those picks together in a fund of 18 companies, including Crop and Harvest One, that that would be a very successful long-term fund. You've got big companies like Afria, Aurora, MedMen, Kush, SeaWeb. You've got some of the biggest in the world in your portfolio, but you also have some of the you know middle ones like you know the the Oxleys, and you've got some of the lower-priced ones. So, like the TGIFs and the PREVs, which I believe is around ten cents. So. Yeah. 
You've got some smaller ones, which are a little bit more risky, clearly. You've got the mid cap companies, and then you've got the big boys. So I think your portfolio is very well diversified of cannabis companies. I think you should be very proud of the portfolio that you've amassed. Companies like yeah. Medman, I really like Medman a lot. You mentioned T God. You mentioned some really amazing companies that are global companies in this sector. So you should be very proud of your portfolio. And thank you for sharing your portfolio. It takes a lot of guts to do that. <laughs> Many people will not do that. I know you're always very honest. And uh, you didn't even want to talk about crop and harvest because you know they haven't been hugely successful so far. But that doesn't mean that they won't be successful in the future. Now remember, everyone, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence. Do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. If you're not winning, you're definitely not watching. This is your boy, Rich, with Amanda from Indonesia. Thank you for joining us, Amanda. We love having you on the show. Let's do it again soon, okay? Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Rich. Have All a right, great guys. We'll finish off. We'll see if we get some tunes here. Do you have music? Don't panic. <laughs> panic and put on the music. This is the Tell me you couldn't hear this at the club. Honestly, you real world for Wall Street. I've been playing it at the beach. I've been playing it at the beach for three days. Don't panic.